Never in all my fucking years have I been so excited for a virtual digital expansion. <laughs> Stop looking at my feet, all right? Look at this. Would you, what the fuck's going on up there? Father hell. Whatever. Zach Michaels of Soft From Where fame has done it again. From where, you say? Stop looking at my feet. From the land of shadows. That's right, it's the DLC. And would you look at this? Oh my God, look at this. Good. Lord, I'm erect! I just can't get enough. This is the kind of shit that I like right here. What, what is... What's this on the fucking... What is that? Oh my god, is that shit? <laughs> now, this video isn't going to spoil anything too major. Although if you grew up with emotionally unavailable parents, oh. or in other words, you've completed the Elden Ring DLC, you'll know this place all too well. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna eat my computer. I'm gonna eat it. That's what I'm going to do. But I'll do my best to leave all the big, interesting events and revelations for you to discover. If, and when, and how, and if you get there. Be chill this time, the jizz boys. The, the jizzmen. You're not being chill, are you? I. What what am I supposed to do there, Miyazaki? What do you think of your game and your jizz boys? Do you think they're cool? It should come as no surprise to you that the shadow of the Erd Tree does indeed got hands. That's right. It's not all sunshine and scarbonzo beans in Mesmer's little nerd realm. Michael Zaki has cranked up the difficulty big time, and it's become somewhat of a controversial topic. Eurogamer... <laughs> sorry. Eurogamer famously gave it a 3 out of 5, <laughs> and said that it was <laughs> because it was simply too hard. And I do get it, the game is very difficult, but it'd be like reviewing The Sun, a 3 out of 5, and saying it's because it's too hot. It's like, are you fucking retarded? Whoa! <laughs> That was a close one. Not cool, gang. But for the most part, it's been a 10 out of 10 glaze sesh across the board. <coughs> and I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but for the past couple of weeks, I've been lurking in the shadows <coughs> of the Erd Tree. That was a kidney stone. Uh, and I just know that everybody's dying to know my opinion. Open the door or I'm going to... Throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. Well, I'll tell you straight, fellas. The DLC is hard as fuck. And so am I, ladies. <laughs> I'm having a whale of a time. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm having a blast. I'm... I mean, what? What would you? What? Well, why? What? Fuck! What am I supposed to do? Stop spinning! Fuck! It's been pretty eye-opening. Uh, yeah. Ooh, good try, Birdman. Oh, can't fucking hit what you can't see, bitch. I rolled. I rolled. I roll. Oh. I'm out here getting railed worse than 2021 sketch. Oh. And that's admittedly when these games work best. When you feel like a little dumb fucking idiot. You stupid prick. Dumb dumb. Little idiot. Dumb boy. Nobody loves you, idiot. You're a dumb little fuck. Fucking reta- Whoa! Not cool, gang. <laughs> Is that all you got? Dumbass. Then you finally get that one run where you feel like, oh, maybe I'm actually Himothy. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm Himothy Chalamet. And, uh... <laughs> and then it turns out you are, in fact, Himothy. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. Lest we forget, Asmongold. 
The difficulty was quite literally the main selling point of the series. It wasn't called Dark Souls Prepare to Have a Fun Time. It was called Dark Souls Prepare to Die, you little punk bitch. Okay? Clean your room. You're almost 30. I'm honestly just shocked, because it's not exactly like I'm fresh off the dinghy to the Land of Shadows. This isn't my first rodeo, and oh my god. Wow, is this a free hotel room for me and my family, even though I didn't go through the proper legal channels to get here? Godric, it's almost like you're trying to encourage illegal immigration. Uh. <laughs> That's political humour. Anyway, point is, I'm far from rusty, and my fingers are nimble and, and lubed up for some From Software action. Is anybody still watching? Feels like everybody just left. Hello? Hello? For you see, gamers. Ever since I seen that, that snow bunny cracker bitch upon that horse, I have been preparing mentally, physically, digitally, and sexually. I haven't. <laughs> but the DLC was announced, and it set into motion an age of uh, not going outside very much. <laughs> the seamless co-op mod also didn't help, but I've spent about 200 hours in the base game in the past two months. And yet, somehow, still in the DLC, I'm getting absolutely manhandled by just like regular enemies. Fucking hell. Fucking typical Brexit geese. Who the fuck's this? Fuck! I don't want to play this game anymore, shit, fuck! What the fuck's going on? I thought I'm supposed to be El Elden Ring Joker, uh, baby. <laughs> so you'll have to excuse me if I decide that I want to, you know, overlevel my character a little bit and maybe shove a couple of scar bombs or beans up my saw seal. And I'm also not afraid to admit that I will perform a little bit of Shadow Clone Jutsu if things get too rough. Check me out. Get over here, you handsome devil. <laughs> Performance wise, holy shit. <laughs> I'm getting like 12 frames per chance in the open areas. And at other times, I'll just randomly get like two frames mayhaps. Who optimized the game? Fucking William Shakespeare? Wasn't that great. Uh, I also saw that <laughs> Sports Illustrated reviewed the game. Who knew they did reviews? That's just weird, isn't it? Anyway, they gave it a, a 10 out of 10 and said, Every frame could be a painting, is what they said. And that is so true. Every frame could be a painting. Because the screen doesn't fucking move half the time. Open the door. It is, for the most part, relatively smooth, though. It's just, you know, it has those times where it looks like a fucking Chinese mobile game. And it definitely shouldn't uh, look like that. If I could give the game any excuse though, it does look absolutely beautiful. I mean, if I could have consensual hardcore sex with oh. a game, <laughs> I'm joking. But the topography of the world, if that even is a word, I don't know, uh, is amazing. And <laughs> it is so incredibly dense. Just to give you an idea, have you ever spoken to a woman before? You know how fucking dense they can be? <laughs> Alright? Okay. Alright. Settle down, everybody. Come on. Just settle. Stop now. Alright? Stop it. <laughs> For the sake of my own sanity, I'm just going to quickly go over this. But did Mickey's Ork of wrestler fame finally de-lame the multiplayer. Great, still tons of restrictions and weird little things you gotta do? Brilliant, well I'll craft you an online invitation, Miyazaki. If you can craft me the will to live. You're gonna need a lot of materials as well, pussy. This is a cry for help. <laughs> the From Software fanboys will no doubt defend this till their last breath with no explanation other than, well, that's how it's always been. As if that's a good justification for anything. The persecution of Jews has always been a thing. 
I suppose you think that's okay too, do you? Bet you're feeling pretty silly right now, you fucking Nazi. <laughs> Curse you, Bale! I hereby vow you will rue this day. Behold, a true great warrior and I... Uh... Just to be clear, there is difficulty, and then there is being difficult. Your Honor, I rest my case. It's gay. In closing, Tarnish, this is easily the most challenging piece of content that From Software has ever released, and subsequently, it's the most rewarding. No encounter is wasted, and exploration is once again super challenging and engaging. And the bosses fuck you up so bad and so fast, and so many times in a row, that it'll make you question your ability to function as a human being. Pretty concerning to know that I'm one particularly bad boss fight away from watching every single Wrestlemania live. Rey Mysterio! And, and secretly making grilled cheeses in the middle of the night. And trust me, as a big fan of Souls Likes, this is exactly what we wanted from this DLC. And remember, a big, dumb, handsome? No. Idiot like me completed it, and so, so can you, watching at home, uh, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Not if you're Elon Musk, though. His build is fucked! Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Would you please subscribe? I thought he was supposed to be some kind of fucking super genius. This fucking build is dumb as fuck! He's fat rolling. I figured that out when I was like 12 playing Dark Souls 1. <sighs> He's got two shields equipped. That's just inefficient. Is he not sending people to Mars soon? He's got three spirit ashes equipped. Do not get on that shit! All jokes aside though, this is one of the few games <laughs> that I am very passionate about. From Software and lead designer, Michelle Zoolander. Do... <laughs> Simply do not miss. Except that weird fucking robot game that they made, that was shit. But to be fair, Japanese people do love Robo Guys. Whoa, explosion! But this is a phenomenal expansion to a phenomenal game. It feels like Elden Ring was the culmination of everything they'd learned from their previous games, and then this DLC was the culmination of everything they learned from Elden Ring. Culmination. Culmination. It's a solid 9 out of 10 for me. Phenomenal. Perfect. Runs like shit, and the online is gay. Now if you'll excuse me, I just finished killing the hidden DLC Joker Bash. Me <laughs> And I think it's about time I waste another larval tier and fully max out a weapon that I will never use ever again. Solid of scale you might be, foul dragon. But I will riddle with holes your rotten hide. With a hail of harpoons! With every last drop of my being! Yeah! Finally! I'm at one with my people, yes! <laughs> There's absolutely no way. No, you can get fucked. I'm not fucking... no.